Okay, let's see who else needs to get a message. Thank you to everybody for being here. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you guys need to hear most right now? All righty. Sorry, I should have been more prepared. <laughs> I just sat down and turned the camera on. Something could be um, spontaneous or a surprise is getting ready to take place for you. Okay, it's going to be something that's shocking. You're, it's going to catch you off guard. Good or bad, I'm not sure yet. Let's see what it is. What do I got left on this? Oh, perfect. Elated. Something's going to make you very happy. Look. The tables have turned, it says. Okay. <laughs> Religion and spirituality take your power back in full moon energy. I kind of force those out. I don't like the shuffling these cards that much. Um, the way they a little different. All right, I'll take it. Purging old energies. You're transmuting. This came out in the the reading last night that everybody was uh, not everybody, but I got it, it must. It, something's off with the, the um, algorithm because it, there's no views to it. So people must not have liked the information I was putting out. They did a lot of dislike or report, okay? Um, so yeah, they, I guess they don't want these messages getting out that are super important for you guys for your ascension, okay? I don't know if this is like a personal people or YouTube, okay? Purging. Transmuting energy. All right. I can tell when a good, I put a good, a really good video out. There's really good information in it. They want to hide that on me. All right. They're like, how dare she sound smart or like she knows anything about <laughs> this is the vibe it's giving. All right. Yeah, they're mad. They're mad that you channel from the other realms. Not just the spirit realm, you know. Um, the other realms too. The angelic realm. All right. Dang, you heard it. All right. Ancestral curse breaker. All right. So something's going to make you very happy here. This has to do with maybe a download you're about to receive. Or about how you um, broke a curse here. Okay. The tables have turned. You could be picking up messages through the television. Through music. All right. But they, they were laughing. I feel like they're not laughing anymore because the tables have turned, okay? Spirit just wants you guys to know that they're not laughing anymore. They're not laughing at you anymore. Your downfall, your, you know, when people fall, they, but you guys have the courage to pick yourself back up with no shame, right? Because people fall. That's part of life. These people don't want people to see when they fall. They want to hide it, right? But they don't mind laughing at you and spreading shit about you, right? All right. This is what you're purging, okay? The, the abuse that you've dealt with, all right? The old storylines. Yeah, the villains, look. All right? You're purging it. You're letting it go. You're transmuting it, okay? Earth signs. You could be an earth sign, visionary. You could have Leo in your chart, all right? Time for a vacation, all right? And this ain't a vacation we're expecting someone else to take us out on, right? No, this is something we're getting for ourselves. We're putting this together ourselves because we don't depend on other people for our happiness, right? If we're with someone else, it's going to be equal. It's not going to be like when they leave, what are we going to do? Oh my God, we got to... No, it's not going to be a big deal if you separate from this person because you have your own structure and stability, right? Okay. Because that's never a good feeling when shit gets ripped out from underneath you, all right? Based off lies or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. All right. They do not, they do not like your knowledge, your information, your wisdom. But it was beneficial for them. So I feel like people tend to hold themselves back, okay? Out of jealousy or whatever it is. <sighs> What else do we got coming out? What else does this collective need to know, please? 
blocked. All right. 99 could be significant. All right. Or this is just the end of a really tough cycle. Yeah, you know what's blocked? This death magic they're doing. Okay? It could be coming from this mature woman, this mother figure, or you're this mature woman. You put it how it fits. But something's blocking this death magic here. Okay? Yeah, you're using your intuition. Okay? All right. They're, they're shocked at the work you're doing. You could be using your intuition when it comes to something you're working on. All right? They're concerned. All right. 11, 11 could be significant. The time up there. And 33. So 11, 33, 99. You could be seeing repeating numbers. All right. 87 could be significant. Someone could be 38. All right. Or 93. You're protected. Okay. You... <laughs> They're doing death magic on you because they're enamored by you or something. I don't know. Or 63 or 64 could be significant. All right. Or they're enamored at your protection here. 40, someone could be 46. It's given the star energy. Faith. All right. You could, you could be this empress energy. This could be an empress type of energy. All right. Ancestors. Ancestors are here. 84 might be significant. All right. Someone's using their intuition. All right. They're shocked and confused, I feel like. If this is giving confused, because it's right underneath concern. All right. Someone's coming in to give you a love offer and give you unexpected money, or someone got money to give you a love offer. I'm not getting that. This is giving, um, you're about to receive some unexpected money that you were not aware of and, and a love offer, okay? That's what they're worried about. 1111 could be significant, all right? It's giving twin flame vibes, all right? All right, but the ancestors are here. Yes, they are, because people are feeling this way towards this, all right? They're trying to put a death to this. this. Uh, are they trying to put an end to someone being enamored by a mature woman, an empress energy, a star? Okay. Someone in their north node. Someone stepping into their north node. They want to say, hey. All right. Well, you're getting ready to say hello to this unexpected money you're not aware of that's coming in here. Could have to do with this, this military man or past over a loved one or... You could be this child in high honor, or this abundance was yours. Not uh, 18 is here, so 99 could be significant. All right. All right. 25 and 18. Someone could be a life path seven. It's here twice. 43, that's seven. So seven, seven, you could be seeing those numbers. Okay, it's a very spiritual number. Okay. I have a feeling you're going to be leaving leaving something behind here. Or someone abandoned their child. I don't know. Or someone walked away from you. I, I don't know. I, maybe you're getting ready to leave some shit behind. Okay? Abandon it all. You're purging it, right? Maybe you're releasing the wounds that were attached to this abandonment, right? So this could come in. Your twin flame soulmate. Right? I feel like you had to walk away from something to have this new beginning. All right? Clarify this. Jezebel. Nice guy. Maybe you're dealing with a, a water sign, masculine energy, and this person could have a Jezebel spirit. I believe this could be attached to a man, right? Why couldn't it? So, if someone's in their feminine energy, right? Um, but this nice guy could be dealing with a Jezebel spirit, all right? Maybe they're leaving this behind. I don't know. 
Maybe this guy walked away from you because they said you had a Jezebel spirit. Or maybe you told this person what a Jezebel spirit was in the first place. Maybe they didn't even know. I don't know. 97 could be significant. Alright. Achievement and ritual. So they want something you do ritualistically, you're gonna you're going to be um be recognized for this, okay? This could be good because some things are ritualistic. We brush our teeth. We come here and we put these videos out religiously or re ritualistically, right? It's like a ritual. We sit down, we pray, we open up the door and we communicate with. So I feel like you're being recognized for something you do ritualistically. Or they are trying to cause illusions by doing these rituals surrounding anything that you could be noticed for, for like awards or anything like that. All right. Maybe they're doing a ritual on that, like trying, because they're just so petty, right? I mean, who thinks of this stuff? To do this stuff to someone else? Really low vibrational people, like the bottom of the barrel, you know what I mean? Like that's what they think of and they, they bounce thoughts off of each other. It's disturbing. It's very expendable, all right? It's like, who's expendable? So it could be also this priest here. I feel like these people worked all together because you have this real love coming in here, okay? Or your this could be the hierophant energy, all right? Um, or this this person here is doing the rituals rituals on this here, right? So you don't get this. It, you guys gotta put it how it fits. But we got someone this with who with the title or spiritual gifts or it's given like the hierophant energy, all right? Or this could be, yeah, I mean a spiritualist. It could be a spiritualist too. This could be like a dark priest, someone who does magic on people. Excuse me. All right, so sorry guys, I got sidetracked there. Um, all right, I had a phone call. It was important. Yeah, so they let's just keep going. There's priests here, right here, and but these all come out together. So I don't know if these people are doing this ritual here, okay, or like they're in this energy, or there's a, this is another person. I feel like there's another person involved in between these two guys. All right, um, a, a water sign. I said fire sign. I didn't mean to. Um, or this guy is a nice guy. All right. And they did some sort of ritual saying that you were this Jezebel, but you're being recognized. Is this why this person walked away from you? See? Okay. I was wondering why that came out. All right. And you're being recognized for something. So it's like whatever they were trying to say about you is, is, isn't holding any weight with this ritual here. All right. What else? Yeah. Your <laughs> spirit's funny. You don't care either way. It's like, whatever. At this point, I feel like you're into what you're doing, all right? You could be a tarot card reader or somebody is getting readings expecting something or they're trying to see what's, what you're expecting, okay? You can let them know it's this and this, okay? Because you have this and you are this in your North Node, all right? Beautiful. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Yeah, and here, someone's at the, uh, you get a healer at the bottom of the deck, or you are this healer. Someone's dealing with an ice queen and a thief, or this ice queen is a thief, all right, or stole from this priestess, all right? You could be this priestess who's sexy, self-sufficient, all that, all right? And people are feeling left out of your energy because something ended here. You transitioned, you, tr you shifted. All right, I feel like you went through the, the death, the rebirth, all that. All right, now you got this commitment coming in or someone else here is stuck in this commitment here. They feel trapped, okay? They're in, having legal issue also. They're having legal issues also, all right? Someone's... <sighs> they're con this concern because you're... You're, they've left an earth angel, star seed, in emotional pain. All right, where's that card here? Where's the emotional pain? Right here. Okay, you could be this queen of pentacles, or you're dealing with the queen of pentacles. All right, 
Yeah. They're jealous. All right. They're trying to cause issues with the courthouse or whatever this is here for you guys. I feel like you're moving on from all this and that pisses somebody else off. They wanted you to be stuck in this and want a war and battle with them. Say, so God fights my battles. That's right. It's called surrendering. People should try it. I feel like they're now in emotional pain. All right. And in concern. All right. What else? New beginnings. And you've learned patience. That's giving that you planted a seed and it is growing. Okay, you know it's going to grow. It's not, a, it's not, a, it's like, you know it's going to grow. It's having faith in that you did it the right way is what I'm getting. Right? Yeah, you know. You see. This could also be the promise. It's like you're aware of um, what you're, like, like they're, what you're expecting, right? It's like, yeah, this, I feel like whatever you're, you're, you're seeing, it can be difficult or, you know, you're the, the third eye opened up and you're like, ooh, all right, that's what's really going on. This toxicity got you like guard way up, okay? Or whatever they said about you had someone else like this, okay? They could have been saying, you know, you were toxic. No. <laughs> yeah, they tried to blind somebody or you're at a stalemate with somebody. You guys aren't speaking or there's blocked communication here. All right, because of someone's family, had them in a friggin' mental prison, sleepless nights about you, whatever this is. Or whatever took place, you know. Something from the past is being exposed about this toxicity here, okay, that had you like this. You could be a masculine energy. You don't have to be. You could just be in your masculine energy, right? When you defend yourself, you tend to be in your masculine energy. Yet, yeah, you're the all-knowing, okay? Your intuition's on point, all right? Nine of Cups. Alright, it's causing some sort of tower moment here, right? So something's being hidden. Oh, oh <laughs> hidden in plain sight. You were hidden in plain sight? Or something someone did in the dark here okay they tried to keep this hidden ace of swords okay it was very difficult okay whatever this is here could be manipulation all right yeah you're getting a new beginning or someone's being manipulative about what was in that cup okay it could be lying i don't know but the truth is here so i don't know Someone's coming in to offer you something stable or something to help you move on. Or divine is going to help you move on from something. Yeah, queen of wands. Taking some sort of action here. Yeah, to block something. All right. So they could steal something from you. Okay, or this is you blocking the thieves. Because <laughs> you've been enlightened. Yeah, you're seeing things from a different perspective. All right. About this group of women or these sisters or this, I don't know, third party situation, whatever it is. It's going to be different for everybody. But you're getting this new beginning here. Yeah, this is celebration. You're celebrating. Something you do, a new this could be a new business endeavor, all right, is bringing in this here. This could also be like, um, you guys could be getting ready to meet somebody. If you're, because the Ten of Pentacles is with, with someone else. You could get Ten of Pentacles all by yourself. It's very, um, it's, it is a kingdom, you know? And you can, some, it's generational wealth is what it is for generations, all right? Like after you. Beep. Okay. So, the, yeah, and this is giving one. Are you getting this all on your own here? You guys could be single, self-sufficient abundant but this could also be the promise maybe god promised some of you that uh to a wife or a husband like that's part of the plan the package 
All right. Let's see. Yeah, Queen of Cups. That would make you happy, right? All right. Trust in the trust in the promise. There we go. Baby boy. This keeps coming out. Doctors couldn't save? What is this? Can you please let me know in the comments who the hell this is for? Because this has been coming out. Ex-husband? Is that who this is for? Your ex-husband? Or were you, were you pregnant before? I feel like this is coming up again. If some of you had miscarriages, I'm not getting that from this, though. I'm sorry. And if somebody's going through this right now, with this here, I am. I pray for this baby, okay? Karma shows up and so, and I hate saying that, guys, but for some people, this is the shit that's going to be taking place because of what they've been doing to you behind the scenes. And they can accept that or not. And it's like, I don't wish this on anybody. Because as an empath, I feel other people's pain. It's like, um, you know, just being in the room with someone watching a movie crying, I can get upset. Not even know what the movie's about. I feel the energy. Okay? I channel it. It's natural. Scorpio, yeah, this is death. Black magic. Get the fuck out of here. Did you send the collective bad health? It was upside down. It's been sent back. This is not a joke or a game. How many times do I have to say this to you, to the karmics? Collective, you guys know this. All right, 78 could be significant. 44 is also significant. Okay, the numbers. All right, Archangel Michael, please. Let's get a message. 2222 22 just was on the clock. And you sure you want to do that ritual tonight on the on the collective, right? I listen. You sure you can do that? Okay. It says keep charging your head and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous situations to appear. Solutions, sorry. Um, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. My wishes are not going to be spent on cleaning up karmic's messes because I feel sorry for them. It's not happening. So you guys are on your own. This is I am the angel, especially when you're out here attacking my family, my, my kid, me or the collective. It says, I am the angel of the family. It's a happy change and addition is coming to you. Okay, this is given spirit baby. All right. It says, yeah. It says, to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view and with compassion. So some of you have lost children. Okay. Due to black magic. Miscarriages, whatever. It's the, it's all the same. Still, still births. What, I don't know how, you know. My ears got real hot, all right? So, heart, something to do with the heart. Someone loves you so much, could be this passed over child. This is a child, this is coming from it's someone's child. This could even be mine. I had a miscarriage due to black magic and spat. Happened on fucking Halloween. A week after I announced it on Facebook. One week. All right? On Halloween day, it happened in the morning. And they're proud of it. They they celebrated it. Okay, I spirit is showing me. They thought they won something. That is fucking sick and twisted. And you deserve what you get from it. All right? No child deserves it. But if that's what you had to go through to feel what you got, what you put us through, the... The us, the collective, 
Because, because what? Because God picked us? God could have picked you too. You didn't want to answer the phone. All right. I love you guys. Please hit the like button.